Hey guys, Dave from Cook and Share here. Today we're making up this mouth-watering, ever so delicious mango cheesecake. I made this up the other night for dessert and oh my goodness, it was so good. I know you're gonna love it, so let's get started. To get started here, I'm gonna go ahead and prep four mangoes. So I'm gonna cut a wedge off each side. Take my knife and make about, oh, I'd say four or five slits lengthwise. Then another four or five going in the opposite direction. I should mention you're only going to do this for three of the mangoes. The fourth mango you're going to save for later. Then what we're going to do is simply turn it inside out. And it's kind of funny because this looks something like the back of an armadillo. But believe me guys, this makes it really easy just to spoon out the flesh of the mango. Okay, now we have the mango in the blender. We're just going to pulse this a few times. Then put the blender in its highest speed for about a minute or so. Okay, now that we have a nice mango puree, we're just going to set this aside in a bowl. Now what we're going to do is take a tablespoon of clear unflavored gelatin. Combine it with two tablespoons of warm water and give everything a mix until it's nicely combined. Now what you're going to do is simply add this to your mango puree. Then we're going to add in a couple of teaspoons of white granulated sugar and of course stir it once again. After that what you want to do is begin making your base and to do this you're going to add a cup of crushed graham crackers. Now you can buy these pre-crushed or you can crush them yourself followed by three tablespoons of brown sugar. I always get the question, can I use white sugar? And the answer is, sure you can. Four tablespoons of melted butter. And I'm just gonna take my spatula here and mix everything together until you kinda get a wet sandy mixture, just something like this. Okay, so what you can do now is go ahead and add the mixture to a springform pan. Now I'm using a five and a half inch springform pan and this recipe will do two of these. Of course, if you've got an eight or 10 inch springform pan on hand, you can go ahead and use it. All right, what I've got here is a pack of Philadelphia cream cheese. You can just about use any kind of cream cheese. And this is about eight ounces. So I'm gonna combine this with three quarters of a cup of confectioner's sugar. Three quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm just going to take my mixer here and mix this until it's nice and creamy. Until it's something like this. And I should mention, if you don't have an electric mixer, you can mix this by hand as well. Next, what I have here is 200 milliliters of heavy whipping cream. And guys, make sure it's good and cold and it's heavy whipping cream because I've tried all-purpose cream and it really doesn't work all that great. So I'm just gonna grab the mixer once again and mix this over high speed for about two, two and a half minutes. You really don't wanna over mix this, otherwise it'll become watery. So what you want is a texture, something like this, just so when you move it with the paddles, it maintains its shape. Okay, so what you wanna do now is add the cream mixture into the whipped cream. Take a spatula and just kind of fold and mix until it's nicely combined. Now what we're going to do is spoon the mixture over top of our graham crust. Until it comes, oh I'd say just about three quarters of the way to the top. Then you're going to take your mango puree and spread that ever so delicious goodness over the top of the cream cheese. And here's where the fourth mango comes into play. You're going to use it to make some fancy touches to the top. You can be as creative as you want, use whatever shape you want. I've just simply taken my knife and slit lengthwise into fairly fine strips. Then one cut in the middle. Then just kind of place the pieces on top, just so they fan out around the cheesecake.
So it looks something like this. Doesn't this look cute? Now we're going to place this in the fridge to set and you can probably get away with six to eight hours but what I do is I usually place it in the chiller overnight and it sets ever so nicely. After the cheesecake is nicely set, remove it from the springform pan and you're ready to serve. And there you have it, our ever so delicious fruity mango cheesecake. Believe me guys, this makes an excellent dessert. Head on over to cookandshare.com for this recipe and many more great recipes. And don't forget to click to subscribe and like our videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.